Hello. First, make sure you're using your graphics card to render. It's surprising how many people still aren't doing this. Open Blender Preferences, System, and select either CUDA or Optics. This will depend on which GPU you have. Play around with the number of samples. You can also set a time limit per frame which can help when testing animations. Turn on the denoiser and adjust the noise threshold. Higher numbers will render faster but have more noise. The goal is to find the sweet spot between a clean image and a fast render time. Optics is better for animations. Open image is better for still images. Open the performance tab in render settings and turn on persistent data. This uses more RAM but means Blender won't have to do all the pre-calculation stuff before actually starting the render. Open the light paths tab and start reducing the number of bounces. Clamp the direct and indirect light and disable caustics if you don't need them. Depending on your scene, toggling fast GI approximation can significantly increase render speed without a noticeable difference in the final image. Switch to solid view before hitting render, so Blender isn't trying to render the viewport at the same time. Finally, there's a paid add-on called To Optimize, which I use regularly. It lets you filter meshes in your scene by the number of polygons, as well as check for any large image files that might be causing a bottleneck. Both of these will slow down your Blender scene, so use the Decimate modifier to reduce the density of the offending meshes, and switch the large images out for smaller JPEGs. These tips will obviously depend on the type of scene you have, as well as the hardware you're using. Try them out and leave a comment on which ones you found the most useful, or any particular optimizations I might have missed that you use regularly. If you find this content valuable, please like and subscribe so I know to make more. Thanks everyone. I hope you found the video helpful.